Audio Jungle. Welcome to Downriver Equipment. I'm Anthony and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Downriver rod holders. The first thing we want to do is find a good location on the frame for the mounts. If you already have an existing Downriver poly deck, you should already have a notch cut out for one of the existing mounts. Go ahead and separate the top part of the mount into the two halves and put it over and tighten down the set screw. Uh, at this time, it's uh, recommended to set all of the holder positions in place and tighten everything down and then take the first mount off and match the second mount to this one. It's going to be a lot easier to slide the tubes into the mounts if they're all at the same angles. Okay, so we've got the first mount back on, and let's put the second one on. We just need to find a place that's going to be comfortable sitting on the boat for it. So do the same thing we did with the first one, and separate the two halves, put it on, and then tighten down the set screw. Now we want to actually insert the rod holders into the mounts. Go ahead and turn the rod holders sideways so that the cutout will slide into the mounts. Now you can turn the rod holder so that it fits into the mount the way it should. At this point, if we've already adjusted the mounts correctly, you should just be able to slide the holder through the mounts into the position you want and tighten it down with the set screws. With the set screw, you'll want to tighten it up snug and then work it back and forth kind of like a drill. If you just crank down on it, you are going to damage the pipe, so be sure to use the proper technique when setting your set screws. We've got the first rod holder in place, and now go ahead and repeat the process from the opposite side with the second rod holder. Once that rod holder is slid into place, you can go ahead and tighten that one down too, and you're all set to go. If you did get a few scratches on the anodization as you were pushing it through, go ahead and use a little bit of toluene and wipe them off. There's no, no harm done there, but that will clean right up. For more how-to videos, please go to our website. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.